Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to use a cosine substitution to solve the integral of negative 3 divided by the square root of 1 minus 9x squared. And we're going to substitute cosine for this uh, 9x squared term. Now be the beauty of trigonometric substitutions is that we can really simplify this expression and often we can get rid of things like the square root we can even get rid of the division and turn it into just a straightforward integration of a, a trigonometric function like sine, cos or tan of which the uh, antiderivatives are uh, easily found out so uh, let's go ahead and explore how we would go about this process the first thing to do is to find the correct substitution, so the correct trigonometric function to substitute for. And to help me do this I'm going to construct myself a right angle triangle and I'm going to label the smallest angle theta and I'll label the sides the hypotenuse as C and I'll label the longer of the shorter sides A and the shorter of the shorter sides B. And of course we know from Pythagoras theorem that C squared is equal to a squared plus b squared and if that is true then it follows that b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared okay now we're going to use the, our expression in the square root 1 minus 9x squared to help us construct this triangle so we have 1 minus 9x squared which I'm going to rewrite as 1 minus 3x squared. Next I'm going to give my hypotenuse C a length of 1 in accordance to the 1 that we have in our expression and I'm going to give my length A the value 3x and the 3x corresponds to this 3x so knowing that b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared well of course then b squared is equal to 1 minus is equal to 1 minus 3x squared so that's how we've constructed a right angle triangle from our given expression inside of our square root well now we can proceed and find the correct trig substitution. Well from my trig laws I know that the cosine cos theta is equal to the adjacent side A over the hypotenuse C. So it's equal to 3x divided by 1 which of course is equal to 3x. So that implies that x is equal to one third of the cos of theta and this step is important because we're transforming this integral from a integral of x to an integral of theta so I need to use this to find an expression for dx and I'll do that by differentiating it now so dx d theta dx with respect to theta is equal to one third times the negative sine because cosine differentiates the negative sine theta and that implies that dx is equal to the negative one third sine theta to theta so this is a substitution we have to make for dx and this is the substitution that we have to make for 3x so the integral of negative 3 divided by 1 minus 9x squared with respect to x can be rewritten as the integral of negative 3 divided by the square root of 1 minus in brackets cos theta squared times 
negative one third sine theta d theta and if I neaten this up a little bit the negative three and the negative one third will cancel each other out and I'm left with the integral of sine theta divided by the square root of one minus cos squared theta d theta okay this uh, one minus cos squared theta here if we remember from our trig identities can be rewritten as equal to sine squared theta uh, simply because sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1 so we can simplify further down sine theta divided by the square root of sine squared theta to theta and in this case the square root and the square of sine will just cancel out so we'll get sine theta divided by sine theta to theta which of course is equal to the integral of d theta or I should say more politically correctly 1 d theta which is equal to theta plus c a constant of integration okay since cos theta is equal to 3x then it follows that theta is equal to the inverse cos of 3x so our final answer will be the inverse cos of 3x plus c so that's just another method of the ingenious method of trig substitution I will be doing some more in upcoming videos so stay tuned for those if this video has helped you better understand the concept please give me a thumbs up if you are a math student please feel free to subscribe for future videos that may help you on assignments or exams if you have any question that you would like me to do a video on please feel free to comment on any of the videos that you've seen thanks for watching and I hope you learned something